Welcome back to my channel. If it's your first time here, thanks for joining me. Um, so today is all about Disney. So first and foremost, I just want to say I'm on the floor. I tried to de-wrinkle this sheet here. It did not work out well, but um, the brown just didn't really show up because my floor is like a brown fake wood. It didn't show up the charms very well. So I did decide to leave this down. And then other than that, um, I guess we'll just kind of hop into it um, because I am on the floor. My kitty cat might be joining us for part of it. Hopefully not too much. Sorry if it's bothersome, but he is just a love bug and um, he just wants all the love. So he is here and hopefully again, not too bothersome. Sorry in advance. So to hop into it with our Disney theme today, I do want to go back and share a little bit about this bracelet that I had previously. I know I had said, oh, I'm not going to change anything except maybe this bow up here. Well, I did. I ended up switching out um, the Jack and Sally for this charm here. I ended up getting this one and it just fit on this bracelet a lot better. And the Jack and Sally fit on the new one, which you will see um, better there. So I did switch that. And then other than that, I have this bracelet, which is the Parks one, which I mentioned. It's an 18 centimeter, but it's stretched out because I've had it for a long time. It fits really, really well on the new bracelet I will show you. It's also 18, 18 but it hasn't stretched very much. And it has three Muranos on it, so I'm considering switching the bracelet itself um, for each section of charms, I guess. So like, just literally taking this and putting it on the other bracelet and the other bracelet's charms putting on this one. I don't know for sure if I will because this one does fit so great just how it is. So I don't know for sure if I'll do that, but that is a possibility. Other than that, I'm pretty sure I'm done with this one, guys. <laughs> I'm pretty sure, but yeah. So that's the only thing that really, for the most part, switched. So to move on to the new bracelet, woo! <laughs> So again, this is the 18 centimeter. It is on the Mickey kind of crystal CZ head one. Um, so it just has all the little Mickeys there. Again, it hasn't really stretched out. It is pretty tight, like it's still tight kind of moving it around. But that is what I have everything on. And it just looks like this. And it is the classic moments layout if you are not familiar. So it has the two clip stations and it's just the Mickey. So the main thing that you will notice um, with this uh, Disney bracelet compared to this one is this one is pretty much all park beads, not park exclusives, but Disney charms in themselves. Um, besides that little bow spacer and the two sphere clips, everything else is like a Disney charm or Disney bead. On this bracelet that I'm gonna be sharing with you today, it is Disney themed. So a lot of the charms are not Disney, um, but to me they represent Disney in some way besides like the spacers, which, you know, are just spacers. <laughs> um, yeah. Other than that, I will start off by saying there is a couple charms I may switch on this one. Um, which I'll explain in a second, but they are pretty much, I love it just the way it is. However, I had a setup when I started this bracelet, um, because I started it with these crystal bale ones, which just didn't fit on this bracelet, which is how I knew I was going to be making a second one to begin with. And so I started with the crystal bales and one of these in the middle. And then I had this crystal bale and this crystal bale with one of these in the middle. So then I got this one knowing I was going to get two more to put on this side kind of thing. So that's how this bracelet started. So since this bracelet started and me filling it out, I was like, I'm left with two crystal bale empty spots and I need to fill it. So I wanted to finish this bracelet and just every crystal bale thing that I was finding either didn't fit very well or you know, just wasn't themed right. And then the Disney ones, the ones that were left, I just wasn't happy with. So needless to say this last month when there, or this last week, I think it was when this grape soda one came out, I was like, that's perfect because I knew I wanted to get this Marie because I knew this bale was the same, even though it didn't have the crystals, it's the same height, the same width um, with this one here. So I'm like, that'll be perfect. I can do that as one and I'm left with one more. I'm going to do this grape soda and I'm going to move the mirror over here because this one was over here to begin with. And I was like, so I'll just put that as my side. 
I'll move this one over. It has kind of the same idea as the dots here, and it's not right next to this crystal one, so the sizing, you're not really gonna be able to tell if there's a difference. And I'm like, that will complete my bracelet and I'll be happy. Needless to say, <laughs> that was on last week, so that was the sixth and seventh. I went to the park and I picked up this one and this one. And then the last couple days, I've noticed that there is the e-ticket dangle um, park exclusive um, with the crystal bale. And I was like, you've got to be kidding me. They finally came out with a new Disney with the crystal bale because they've been switching it up and kind of being all over the place. And I'm like, I haven't seen it in person. It's, it apparently came out on May 30th. And was so it should have been in Disneyland when I went last week. Um, for June 6th, but I did not see it there. They did not have it on their um, little lineup of the new exclusives. So I don't know if for some reason it's in Disney World and not Disneyland, or if Disneyland just hadn't gotten it yet, or maybe they were sold out, which I guess is also a possibility. I'm a little bit doubtful on that one. Um, but I'm trying to figure out where it is and if I can see it in person. So if that happens, I may be moving this back over here, putting that e-ticket one there, or maybe switching it up a little bit, but either way, it'll be two bail, two bail, two bail um, for the crystals. And then this would be the start of a third Disney bracelet. I'm really hesitant on doing that because that is not something on my to-do list um, because I do have, like I said, these two moments. I have this Mickey essence, and then I also have this Disneyland lock. I don't plan on putting anything on this one, but that's a lot of Disney bracelets. Plus, I am already thinking I want the um, Lion King Disney bangle. Again, I don't think I'm gonna put anything on that one. Who knows, maybe that will be the third one. Um, but as of right now, I still want that bangle itself. So that's just a lot. It's a lot of Disney, however, for some reason, when I start putting Disney bracelets together, it just comes so easy. I have a lot of um, other Pandora charms and you know, my bracelets just aren't set in stone yet. Like nothing seems to be kind of like fit just the way I want it. So Disney is kind of like my niche, I guess. <laughs> so it's possible I may be switching that, moving that over and then adding that e-ticket bail with the crystal. We will see. I don't know for sure. I want to see it in person before I make a decision because I thought I was going to want the Chippendale and I thought it was going to be the perfect charm and I just ended up not even liking it in person. I just thought the sketches were so cute but the faces in person just don't appeal to me as much. So maybe that'll be the same with the ticket one. I'm not sure. Now on to this bracelet and actually the details behind it. Um, now that I've got that all out of the way. <laughs> so again, the Moments uh, Mickey Clasp uh, bracelet. And then I have the Mickey Glove um, safety chain, which has the peace sign and the thumbs up. I'm really happy about this one. I think I shared in my haul. Um, I would, thought it was gonna be white like the glove charm that I have on this one, which is right here, but I didn't realize it was silver. I don't know if I just didn't remember that or if in my mind I just had pictured it to be white. I think it's really cute nonetheless. If I were to get another safety chain, my next one would be the Mickey kind of like hanging one. However, I know that they it looks like they just came out with a Parks one, so maybe that would be the winner. I don't know. But that is that and I am happy with it. Now I have the grape soda which it just symbolizes a lot. It symbolizes being there for the change of the Pixar Pier into the Pixar Pier. Um, Pixar is not my go-to in Disney movies, but I think they're really cute. I enjoy watching them. I love Up, hence the grape soda. Um, but I just, I, I love the merchandise for the grape soda stuff. <laughs> I don't know why, I just think it's so cute. And it does have Pandora on the back. It is one of the engravable type charms. And I just think it's cute. And I think just all the changes that are going on in DCA, this kind of symbolizes that in a way to me. And yeah, I just, I thought it was a good addition. I'm kind of like the perfect ending to this bracelet, so to speak, unless that ticket changes. <laughs> then um, I have the camera. This is the vintage camera, not the new one in the black. This is like the older silver one. Um, I was gifted this a long time ago when I was first getting into Pandora, um, pretty much. Um, and before I kind of really had any like charm selection, I only had a couple and I was gifted this because I am a photographer 
and I thought it was perfect on this bracelet because I take pictures in the park. I do a lot of Disney photography. Um, I love taking portraits in the park and it just was super fitting. I've met a lot of my um, Disney friends through taking photos and I, you know, I really appreciate them and you know, it just kind of represents friendship and pictures and a whole lot of stuff. So I'm super happy about that one. Sorry, I'm moving a little bit guys. Then I have the Mary Poppins dangle. This one is, you know, it's for Mary Poppins. Um, I do love the original movie. I haven't seen the new one, um, but also too, my mom um, had a Mary Poppins umbrella and it just reminds me of her and you know how much she loved the movies and Disney and how much I miss her and stuff. So that's on there for her. Then again, just a spacer. Now I love, love, love these Muranos guys. I have really been feeling the Muranos lately. Originally when I started looking at Pandora stuff, I just didn't get the hype. It wasn't my thing. I didn't understand it. And now I am obsessed. I especially love the Disney ones because they do glow in the dark. So when you go on the rides, they glow, glow, glow. And I, <laughs> I love it. Um, so I did pick up uh, Aurora's Murano. I love pink. It's my favorite color. I love Aurora in general. I think she's a really pretty princess. Um, and then also too, like the song that she sings in the wood with Philip just is so pretty. It's like one of my favorite Disney songs. And I just thought it was a good choice to put here. Then I have the Hocus Pocus dingle. I do not know how this was not a Disney charm um, or how Pandora got away with having it without it being a Disney charm, but um, you know, it's a Disney movie <laughs> and it's like the, one of my favorite Halloween movies. My niece started watching it this last year and she just kept asking to watch it. And so it kind of reminds me of her a little bit as well. I have yet to go to a Mickey's not so scary Halloween party. So maybe this year that will happen, but um, for the most part, just it's another Disney thing, you know. Then I have Tigger. I was kind of thinking about getting Winnie the Pooh, but Tigger was always my favorite growing up. And, you know, I just, I loved Winnie the Pooh. I loved watching it. I remember, you know, being at home on the weekends from school when I was little and watching Winnie the Pooh. And I would always sing the Tigger song, the T I double G R, and you know I just I loved it. I loved the Heffalump movie, ah, oh, my favorite. So <laughs> um, I decided to pick him up. He's just so cute and detailed, and I love the pink again. Pink's my favorite, and I just thought he would be the perfect addition. So I did grab him, and I did grab him during um, one of the sales at the end of last year, which I believe I included in my haul as well. So he was a good one to grab. Then I have the Rose um, mini ears, and this is just, <laughs> represents those millennial pink ears to me. I know it was such a hype and everyone wanted them and I wanted them forever. And actually I was gifted them um, during one of the second or third round that they went back out in the park, like not this, but the actual ears themselves. And so it kind of represents that to me and you know how fortunate I am to have people in my life who would gift them to me. Plus, this is just so cute. And I don't mind having the mixed metal. You know, I do have some pieces with the gold. And so having the rose on here just kind of adds another little hint of something. Plus, it matches the orange and the hocus pocus. And I couldn't pass them up either way. I just thought they were so cute. And I did pass up the mini headband ones before because I got the, um, this mini, not that's the Mickey. I got this mini one, this kind of head one, so I passed up the mini ears. So I thought this was a good chance to kind of grab the ears themselves. And it's just so cute. Like, how could you not want these ones? I'm obsessed. Um, and then also too, um, I'm adding to my ear collection and not that I should be, because I should be minimizing my life, but <laughs> um, just kind of represents that too. Then for my clip stations, I do have the two-tone gold heart clips. Um, I really love these ones as most Pandora lovers. Um, I love the two tones, so I thought they were a good addition. I wanted them and I thought they were perfect on this bracelet because they're hearts and I love Disney and so hearts just worked, you know, I think kind of meshes. Plus having some two-tone with some of the two-tone charms that I have on here just worked out well as, as well. Then I have the pretzel charm. This is probably one of the biggest stories I have for this bracelet. Um, first and foremost, it does look kind of dark on here. It is pretty much the same tone as kind of this oxidized one on here. I have had it tested. I get all my pre-lived items tested for silver to make sure that they are real silver, even if for some reason they aren't authentic. I don't want to be mixing um, metal. I want to keep, you know, like silver and golds on here to hopefully preserve and not oxidize 
or create other tarnishing problems. Um, needless to say, um, so it has been tested and it has been authenticated. I did have to get it soldered when I got it because when I got it in the mail, these parts were detached from each other. Um, I guess you didn't, I didn't have to solder them. I decided to solder rather than just kind of pinch them closed because I didn't want having an issue later, but that's why there is a bump right there. Um, but this represents the cream cheese pretzel to me, or just the pretzels in general. Pickles and cream cheese pretzels are my favorite Disney snacks. Um, I love popcorn and stuff too, but these are like my go-to whenever I go to the park. I normally pick up one or the other, and there's no pickle charm, and plus the pretzel's a cuter charm. <laughs> if, if there were a pickle charm, I'm pretty sure pretzel would win anyway. So this was a cute one. I was super happy to add it. I did have a little bit heavier of a price tag, um, kind of like original pricing, I would assume, or a little bit more. Um, but I was happy to pay for that one and grab it and even pay for the soldering just to have it on here. So super happy about that one. Then I have a C and an A, and these are one, my initials. <laughs> so you know, that's on here for that. And then also to California Adventure. I remember when California, the big California letters used to be outside the park and it, you know, it just kind of represents that and being there for that whole change in the park. And, um, I do have a Disney Instagram account, which starts with CA for my initials and California Adventure. So, you know, it just kind of, it's very fitting. Um, this bracelet kind of seems to represent a lot of things that have happened in the past couple of years. So, you know, it just, it really worked. It, they weren't originally going to be on here. It was on another bracelet with some stuff that kind of represented Pixar Pier to me in some way. And it just ended up going on here, ended up being perfect. And I love it. Then I have the clear Mickey spacer. Now, if you guys remember in the video about this one, I was mentioning how I have the pink one on here and I was going to put the clear one here where the bow was if I could get my hands on it, but I couldn't find it. Needless to say, I found it, you guys. <laughs> I went to the Vegas outlet. Um, I think it was March or May. I can't even remember now. It was the beginning of this year at some point, a couple months ago, a month ago. Um, I ended up going to the outlet and I found this one. And instead of putting it here because I ended up actually being really happy with the bow here, it just fit perfect right here. Um, I had a little bit of space in the middle here. I, I mean, as you can tell, it's still... I mean, I still have a good amount of space, not to necessarily fit something else, but um, I had a little more, it fit perfect, so it went there. Um, then I have the Marie, and it says Cat Lady on the back, and it couldn't be more perfect. I am actually very much a dog person, but I always wanted cats growing up after um, my mom's cats passed away, well, that she brought into the marriage um, of my, my parents' marriage, but my dad hated cats, so he would never let us have one. And um, finally, when I was old enough and whatnot, I decided to get a cat, which is Bubs, who you saw earlier. Um, his name is Pierre, actually, but I call, I call him Bubs. And so I am now officially a cat lady, but um, I will say I have a, like a little soft spot for dogs more so. Um, I am like having dog puppy fever, I guess, so to speak. Uh, but I don't know how my kitty will do with, um, someone taking my attention away from him right now. But however, my cat is half dog, so it's okay. He pretty much like loves me like a dog would. <laughs> and he's a cuddle bug, which is, you know, just perfect for me. But anyway, needless to say, cat lady, the Arista cats, he's a tabby, he reminds me of, um, the tabby, oh, oh, why am I blinking on his name from the Aristocats, the little boy, uh, man in it, and also Toulouse. Is it Toulouse? Oh no. Am I switching up names? I don't know, but Marie's cute. She's a cutie. She's white and pink. She's a little girl. I'm a girly girl, so it's very fitting. And um, as I mentioned, the bail on this one and the crystal bail are the same size, so it was perfect. Then I have Tinkerbell's Murano. Tink's one of my favorite. I love Peter Pan. I love the new Peter Pan movie. It's so good. Um, I shouldn't say a new new, but it's not new. The um, human version um, I think is really good. Green is my sister's favorite color, so it's my favorite color and my sister's favorite color. Um, and it just kind of fit these three colors in the Muranos. But yeah, kind of self-explanatory. Sorry, that was kind of loud. <laughs> um, then just the spacer. I love the spacer to begin with. Um, I kind of want it on some of my other Pandora bracelets, but like I said, I haven't really figured out my other ones to be set in stone. So as of right now, it's on here. It'll stay on here, but maybe I'll add more later. 
Then the 90th Mickey, kind of self-explanatory um, for the celebration. I went a little crazy on buying some of the 90th merch and I wasn't even there that day in the park. I watched all the stories though, felt like I was there and obviously I've been there this year. Um, and seen, you know, different things and celebrated different things and I love the two-tone. Really, it's the two-tone and the bail that got me because I knew I was going to have that bail thing going on. So, it fit really well and I love it. Good addition plus a classic and memorable moment in time for Disney. Then again, the A. Then I have the all-seeing eye. Now, I get so many questions on this one, you guys. When I wear this bracelet, everyone is drawn to this one. And the All Seeing Eye is obviously a, um, in jewelry is known as a travel, like a safe travels and good luck and things like that. And so technically you're not supposed to buy it for yourself. I did buy this charm and it does kind of represent that in the way of like going to the parks and traveling safely. But really I got it. Actually, I shouldn't say I got it for this bracelet because I didn't. I got it because I saw it was a great price and I really wanted it. And then I was like, looking at this bracelet and I was like, it's perfect to go on here. Um, it is enamel on both sides. Um, but it represents Indiana Jones. So I saw it and once I got it home and I was looking at it, where am I going to put it? I'm like, you know what? It's going to go perfect on the Disney bracelet because it reminds me of Indiana Jones. Indiana Jones is one of my absolute favorite rides. I will wait in that line anytime. The queue is really cool anyway. And it just reminds me of that. So I don't know if anybody else will get it, but you know, like the eye in the beginning, once you go through the doors and like the doors all have a different meaning. It's like one's like wealth and fortune. The other one's like knowledge and something. And then the other one's something else, but then they're like, don't look into my eyes. And <laughs> I don't know. It just, it fits for me. So I really like that one. Plus the little bit of added pastel color just goes, it just goes guys. Then again, I have that clip and then I have the pass holder charm. This is the Disneyland Resort pass holder, the old style mini. And again, it has the Pandora. It's just one of the engravables. And I love this one. I was really hesitant about getting a pass holder charm to begin with, honestly. Um, you know, I've, I've had my pass for a few years now and I love it and everything. And I love the benefits and I love different things, but you know, I was like, I have a lot of engravables at this point. Like, I have a few different ones. This was before, obviously, I had this one. But I have the Hocus Pocus. And I have some other non-Disney ones. Plus the fantasy one that's on the other bracelet. And you just, you know, you kind of get tired of the style a little bit. But the bead one wasn't suited for me. And this one was just really cute. And I love the um, old style mini ears that they have in the parks right now. I haven't picked them up or added them to my collection. I've thought about it. Um, but I'm trying to minimize my life. <laughs> Not that you could tell by my Pandora collection, but um, yeah. Anyway, point being, I thought it was really cute and the old style mini super cute. I have a really cute old style mini pin and it just went and I thought it was, if I was ever going to get a pass holder charm, this was the perfect one to get. So I picked it up. <laughs> Plus I'm a pass holder and I've been a pass holder, like I said, for a few years. And like I said, this bracelet really does kind of fit the last few years for me at Disney and trying new things. Um, as I mentioned, the cream cheese pretzel is one of my absolute favorites. I just tried that for the first time this last year and I get it pretty much every time if I don't get a pickle, you know, so it's one or the other and it's all, it's all in the last couple years. So, you know, it is what it is. Then I have the um, frog prince, which I have mentioned um, in my last haul. I got him authenticated. I love him. I'm so excited. He's for real. <laughs> and he just went perfect on here for the whole fantasy thing. You know, the whole fantasy land, fantasy idea, you know, your uh, frog prince turns into your real prince. You know, that whole idea, the whole love story, kind of romantic side of Disney movies. Plus princess and the frog. It's my niece's favorite right now, at least so she tells me. She changes her mind <laughs> all the time, but right now it is Tiana, so you know, lots of meaning, and I told you guys in the hall too, like I have a lot of meanings with frogs and my sister and family stuff, so it better fit on here really well. Then the next two are both for Beauty and the Beast for Belle. Um, the Vanity Mirror, as I mentioned in my haul as well. Um, I didn't know it was real. I've had it tested for silver. It is silver tested. I've had it authenticated by a couple different places. They tell me it's real. One place um, did mention that they didn't want to say for sure it was, um, but it could not be or it could be. And then other places I've said for sure it is. Like I said, I had it silver tested. I'm happy enough with that. So 
that that's what it is, you know. And Belle is my absolute favorite, so these two just went well together. Um, I don't like a lot of Belle merch, but the Murano worked out well. Again, the color scheme with the pink, green, and yellow worked out well. Then just a spacer. Um, then I have the Snow White and Evil Queen um, dangle. <laughs> blanking on the name here, guys. Blanking on the name. But anyway, this one's just a really pretty one. As I mentioned in the last Disney video, a lot of the Snow White pieces just stand out to me and I really like them. They're just really detailed and really nice. So this had to come home with me. Plus my sister is a villain lover. I love Fantasmic, um, you know, and the whole ma the magic mirror thing. Kind of goes with the vanity mirror too. I just really like it. So it was a good piece to add to my collection. Then Jack and Sally, I've mentioned before in the last video, but I moved it over here. And love this one, Haunted Mansion Overlay. It's my absolute favorite themed ride. So that was perfect. Then I have the Jasmine Crown. Now this one, I to be honest, I would have gotten Ariel um, if I could, but I couldn't find it. Jasmine, I think I mentioned this in the haul as well. Um, she's a great princess. I love her. I love the movie. I haven't seen the new movie yet. I'm um, looking forward to seeing that. Um, the crown was just really pretty. I went with my favorite crown. Like I said, Ariel would have been the one I came home with. Um, but this one worked. And I used to have a pair of Jasmine pajamas when I was little that I thought I was the bomb in. So fits for that too. Plus I just really wanted a princess crown and this was my favorite one that I could get my hands on. So that is my second Disney bracelet and you guys I just love it like I I love this one too and I have a soft spot for a lot of these charms and I'd say probably some of my favorites are on this one but as a whole bracelet this whole theme and coloring and Murano's it just I love it I am in love with it I'm so happy about it and I hope you guys enjoyed it too um, I do want to mention everything said in these videos are my own personal opinion, thoughts, feelings, creations, and nobody else's, not Pandora's, Benbridge, nobody, just me. And I hope you guys are aware of that. And um, yeah, I hope you enjoyed this video and hopefully I will see you next time. Bye.